Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be unboxing a Tinker Crate, and I'm excited to open the Tinker Crate for this month and to see what craft my son gets to do. So if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to give you different unboxings, which is what we're doing today, to give you organizational and curriculum ideas, and also ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's open this crate. Okay, so the crate this month is a parabolic microphone. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I'm excited to find out though. It says build an acoustic reflector that focuses far away sounds. Wow, this sounds pretty cool. Okay, so when we open it up, that's what it looks like. We have our blueprints right here. They kind of give us, I guess that's what it's gonna look like. No, <laughs> I'm not really sure. And then when we open it up, we have our instructions here, which again, they're always very great detailed instructions. And I just love that about this, about these crates. They always have really good instructions. And then we have our little booklet that says sound science. So it's probably gonna have a lot of cool things in here about sound and how our hearing works. And then maybe some other activities that they can do. And then battery use instructions. I don't know why it cracks me up when they put this in here, but it does every time. But this is kind of good. I guess it's for a nine volt. So maybe people don't know how to use a nine volt, especially kids, you know, it, it makes sense. And then here's a whole bunch of little pieces right here. Not sure what all these are gonna be used for. And then some sort of wires, maybe for our microphone. Maybe this is a microphone at the end. It's hard to tell. And then we have our battery, our nine volt battery and the little like circuits it's gonna be attached to right there. And then, I don't know what these are. There's some little foam pieces. These might be batteries down here. So that looks pretty cool. And then another, oh, this is ear earbuds, like headphones. Here we go. <laughs> Earbuds don't really fit my ears. I have like the teeniest ears in the world and these, they just hurt my ears. So I just never wear them. So that's those. And then this must be for our little microphone. It's just that plastic. It looks like an insert for a toy or something that you take out. So that's that. And I think that's what's in here. I'm excited for this. I just don't even know how this is gonna go or how it's gonna be built. So it sounds really cool. So I'm gonna let my son get at it and we will let you know how it goes. Okay, so Maser finished doing the Tinker Crate and it was fun. I say that hesitantly because I think it was really, it's a really cool idea, but there's also some issues with these kind of crafts we occasionally get in the crate that are just a little bit harder. So if you remember, it was a, what is it even called? A parabolic microphone. So I'm gonna hold it up because you kind of, you make it in the crate. You don't have to, like this will come out, but I think it helps be able to carry it around. So this is what it looks like, and we'll have some video of him using it, but you have your headphones right here, and then there's a little mic right here, and then you're gonna turn it on, and you know, you put these in your ears. <laughs> so my ears are just like the teeniest little things on the ears, so none of these fit in my ears. But um, you'll turn it on, and then you could have someone stand across the room, or it says maybe take it outside and listen to like a bird or something that's, the middle of winter here so there's not really that many birds around but if you live somewhere where you can see a lot of birds you could do that and then it amplifies the sound and it's really really cool so i like that idea i think sound is just so amazing the idea of it how you can form buildings in certain ways like for orchestras and all that kind of stuff is just really really cool the hardest part with these is knowing for sure if they're working the way they're supposed to work it's just always really hard to tell and this one at first, it wasn't working. So we had to troubleshoot it. I, they do have a lot of troubleshooting ideas right here, which I think is always super helpful. So let me show you this, but. So right here, there's a bunch of troubleshooting ideas. 
So I went through all of these and I was in the middle of getting dinner in the crock pot as well. And so I couldn't finish helping him. So my husband came out of his office and started going through all the things. So he plugged the headphones into some, his computer to make sure they actually worked and they did. He tried the microphone on this camera to make sure it was working and it did. And so the only other, there was two other things like the circuit board that's underneath here or the battery, it's a nine volt battery and the battery wasn't working. Luckily we had another nine volt battery that we could plug in. So it didn't come with a good battery. So that wasn't super great. But again, like it worked, you could definitely tell a difference. You could tell that it turned on and you could hear sound but it's still hard to know how well it's supposed to work when you make these types of things. So occasionally we get crafts like this where it's like this idea is really cool, but I don't think they're as, as great as some of the other ones that we've done. So that's just my opinion. But something I thought was really cool about this one is it had you do some math. So it had you make this little like parabola here. It's gonna <laughs> fall apart probably. But then you put it on a piece of paper like this. And so you can see that he drew the arch right here. And then you're gonna take it, it came with this little thing. <laughs> it's a little light right here. And so you turn it on and it just glows out the straw. So it has this very pointed spot that it's gonna give you. And it's gonna cast the shadow on here and then you can draw the line. So basically you're finding where the focal point of the parabola is. And then you use that to line up where the microphone's supposed to go because that's where it's gonna best like amplify the sound and be correct. If you can't figure that out or your kid isn't wanting to do it, it does tell you how far the microphone should be right here. So it gives you all the like little math, but then in this spot right here, it tells you it should be about 2.5 centimeters. So when you're done drawing all these things, the distance from here to your focal point where everything's intersecting should be 2.5 centimeters. And then where you put your microphone right here, the distance from the inner part of this bowl should be 2.5 centimeters. And that's where it's gonna work the best, where the sound and everything's gonna work the best. So that was a cool thing. I thought just a fun little thing to teach about math and how this music works. and how different fields that we study all interact with one another. I just thought that was a really fun thing for them to do. And something else that would be fun, my son might try to do this, but you can make an on the go mic, which I thought was cute. So you're already you know, using this in your box, but you can cut the box out, I think, and like flip it the other way so that you can carry it around. If you can see that right there, it's like a little boom box that they're carrying around. So I thought that was hilarious that you could do that. But then this book also had some other fun activities and again goes into the history of sound and music. But this one sounded cool. It has some like outdoor activities you can do. The whisper challenge, it says head outside and find out just how well your parabolic mic works. So you can go outside and it gives you some different activities you could try. It, could ha it has ear spy, play a game of hide and, hide and listen. And can you locate the noise before time runs out? So there's a lot of fun activities that the kids could try. And again, it gives you just a bunch of history or some um, buildings or landmarks, I guess, in the world that you could learn more about that kind of do this same thing that have this parabolic structure to them. So I just thought, I thought that part was really cool. The activity in and of itself, again, was, it's just a little bit harder with these ones to know if they're working the right way in the way that they're supposed to. But I think the idea behind it was really, really cool. And it'll be fun for my kids to experiment a little bit more with it. And maybe I'll send them outside in the freezing cold and see if they can hear each other. They probably will wanna do it quickly because it's cold outside. But I'm excited to see what next month brings. It's always fun to just kind of see the variety of activities and obviously some we like more than others. So it'll be exciting to see what we get next month. So if you enjoy seeing these kind of videos, please give me a thumbs up and we will see you next time.